gotcha. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. This time, we're going to be doing the return to Jurassic Park, something we've all been looking forward to for a while. Team up with Dr. Grant, Sattler, and Ian Malcolm in this what-if scenario, tasking you to fix the mistakes of the past and salvage Jurassic Park. I have a lot to say about this. Uh, don't get it twisted, I know it doesn't say new down there, but I, I accidentally clicked on it and I wanted to come back and do like a proper intro, okay? I haven't played that at all. Look. This plot that they're working with here, I think has a lot of ties to the new Jurassic World movie. And it has a lot of ties to the past and canceled things that we never got out of Jurassic Park. Long story short, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, see, existing auto save data will be re- Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to play this for so long. I don't really even like Park Builders, but that just that name, Return to Jurassic Park. Oh, that's... I know it's history. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Oh, there we go. Isla Nublar. Obviously emulating the original movie really well. <laughs> this is so cool. It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh... I, I I didn't believe you the first time, John. PowerPoint. Ah, uh, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. <laughs> it's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. <laughs> what a dick. Okay, so... Alright, let's, let's let them talk and tell us what to do. Obviously, this is all messed up, and if we look here... As you can imagine, everything is a ah. little bit of a model on Isla Nublar. So we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, okay. a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may may have led to blind spots. That's why I brought young Cabot Finch <laughs> along with us. Young Cabot so, Finch. What kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. Okay, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well, you actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? <laughs> okay, so I've got so much to talk about already. I've got to talk about all these buildings, too, because they're actually... Oh, just you guys wait. So the plot here, they're obviously going back to Nublar to... Whoa, to, I guess rebuild Jurassic Park, as crazy as that sounds. Now, believe it or not, this was a plot that they kind of canceled and never went with. And that plot was actually the Jurassic Park animated series that never came out. And the first animated series, the one from 1993, 1994. And 
seriously, that plot would have had Hammond convince everyone to come back and literally just rebuild Jurassic Park. Malcolm came back, Sattler came back. Here we go. Uh, Grant came back. Path not connected. Yeah, I, I figured that would happen. A uh, little weird. Are you nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left in kind of a hurry. <laughs> and I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again. So I've returned reluctantly. On the positive side of the ledger, it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs. Does that paint a clearer picture for you? Completely, Dr. Grant. And Mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended. Confidence is not something John Hammond lacks. Competence, however, Ooh. is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station. To start. Oh! Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitor center. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. Well, we've got a lot of stuff to fix, so we better just go out here and uh, begin, I suppose. We're gonna go around the fence at first, but yeah, like I said, this plot, believe it or not, they were going to do this in the early 90s. Not as a, not, you can't really call it Jurassic Park 2, but it was before The Lost World, and it's actually a lot of the uh, concept art for that story would involve like Grant's, you know, using his uh, kind of like a Hatari styled uh, like net trying to catch Triceratops, which was very inspirational for The Lost World Jurassic Park. That being said, this is not canon. Uh, if it is, Look, I really can't drive. I own a Jeep Wrangler that I'm actually trying to turn into a, a Jeep 10 from Muldoon, but like, oh God, look, look at this. This is a mess. It's just interesting to see all the actors back working on this sort of a story because you would not expect this to be something that they, uh, that they do, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go in here and there, I guess we're already done doing that. Repair the damaged geothermal power station, which is right here. And since our playthrough of Jurassic Park Trespasser, as well as just being Jurassic Park fans in general, we know all about uh, the hot molten volcanic power that Jurassic Park uh, utilizes in pretty much all the movies, even though they only talked about it in, I guess, the book. <laughs> if you didn't read the book, you might be like, no power station that uses hot lava shit in Jurassic Park. Oh, but there is. Okay, I actually really do like the design of that, too. It's not quite like Trespasser, but it's at least a little similar. So here's the raptor pin. Uh, you know, they've done a really good job at making this look as authentic as it possibly can. But when you get to the raptor pin right here, look at that. Like... No wonder the animals hated humans. <laughs> they threw them in that tiny little thing. Jeez. You know, I was reluctant to come back here for, for obvious reasons, but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does. I felt the same. Still, there's no denying this is the single most important place on Earth right now. Perhaps ever. Perhaps, but... Uh... What of Dr. Grant? He and I are a team. Ooh. Through thick and thin, you know? Yes. 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 Still, um, chaos, Dr. Sattler. Um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. <laughs> it all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but, uh, you know, I do like the uh, sentiment. Good. I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Not very effective, no, you're quite right. Okay, so they want a research module at the visitor center. They say they want to construct an operational one. So here's the VC. 
Um, I would guess it's under Operations, Storm Defense, Visitor Center, Arrival Pad. Huh. A Research Center. And I did see that Malcolm wanted a bunker, which is only 150k. So I'm going to put the bunker right here. And where the hell... Oh, you just click it right here. Okay. Eh, it's taking a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Path not connected. Oh, God forbid someone doesn't want to walk on that little path. What the hell? I love how they have made them look just like their Jurassic Park counter. Like, these are the park workers from the first movie. These, This is the Joffreys of <laughs> Jurassic Park. Dinosaur threat? Where's the dinosaur threat? Oh, wow. Alpha Raptor right here. So, that is a pretty cool skin. That, that looks kind of like the animatronics for the first movie and maybe the Lost World females? It's probably the 1993 Stan Winston animatronic that they've... I doubt they've CNC'd it, but they might have, like, really closely... Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Uh... That's not good. Yeah, add a new team ASAP. Uh... Can I... Oh, boy. He's gonna kill somebody! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Get out of here. Okay, did he go back? If he just ran back, there's no reason for me to even go after him. That was a little scary. A wild raptor just got... This is like some Site B shit. <laughs> okay, so... We've got to view research. And what is it? Medical treatment? <laughs> okay, this. Right? That's, that's what we wanted? The electrified cable fence? Yes, that... Oh, he's back! Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries? Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pad. Aren't you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have a uh, history. <laughs> Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. Yeah. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So that had to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. While well, you're busy killing that guy. Oh, are you kidding me? Angry dinosaurs. Hey, I can save everybody a, a whole lot of time and just explain what happens eventually. And uh, and that eventually comes much sooner than anybody anticipates. Well, you know, except me. One of the things that I do find really interesting that they've recently, you know, just been talking about is that whole dynamic between uh, Malcolm continuing to pursue Dr. Sattler. You know, he's talking about the inevitable when he was talking to her <laughs> just there. That is something from the Topps uh, Jurassic Park comic books where they actually... I mean, he doesn't get Ellie, but he does make out with her, so that's a thing. Uh, I do wonder how much of that they will try to put into the next movie. It looks like we found one of our raptors here. And this looks like the scene from the original Jurassic Park where they're all down by the uh, watering hole as it would be. Okay, we're pretty far. But... Finally! Oh my god, that was... I hate darting small dinosaurs, so that's... Okay. What is it doing, twitching? Is it not sedated yet? I don't know. Okay, so now how do we... Oh, transport. Now, obviously, we've got to put it back in the raptor pen, which is way over... somewhere over here. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, so... The raptors have to go in... there. And there are more tranquilized raptors. There's one right there. You know, that's really... I feel kind of bad for them, actually, that they're going to be thrown in that little box. Like they're monsters. A lot of people, or not a lot of people, but... There, there are quite a few that say that they only like raptors when they're, like, evil. 
vicious, mean, spirited bastards, which there always are. But like, I think what they really want, they, I think some people that are trying to slight the Jurassic World movies for having the Raptors imprint on Owen Grady like they did John Hammond. Everything under control, right? Control, no. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is uh, uh, managed chaos. Okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> so, not my sparkling personality then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable. Chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment and your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your dig site in the Badlands. Charged them, didn't you? Those donations helped fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. And with more theatrics. And buttered popcorn. <laughs> we all know your vision, John. But the execution? It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. And there is one other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the plot of Escape to Jurassic or Escape from Jurassic Park. Um, but no, what I was saying about the Raptors earlier is that a lot of people seem to only like them when they're like murderous, vicious bastards, like, and they kill everyone like monsters, which is, but look, 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 here's what I want to do. I want to talk about how this, well, hold on. <laughs> oh, we've got mission one done. All I was going to say is that the Raptor pin made them evil because they're all animals. It's called abuse. Okay, so what do you want us to do next, Dr. Hammond? It's still going to take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond scientists made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And hiring wrong people. But now Hammond has the right ones. Us. I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh, do they? Huh? <laughs> People. People like Dr. Rockstar. <laughs> Dr. Rockstar. How the hell do we take a picture? Use pictures of the dinosaurs. I'll oh, shit. A list Go away. Specific photos that I need. Never thought I'd be able to take Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I want actual images. I'll remember this time. Oh my god. Okay, how do we take a picture? Oh, F, F. F in the chat, boys, to take a picture. I just wanted to get some dinosaurs socializing. These guys come up and knock the hell out of me. And I'm too busy, like, <laughs> listening to their, their speech on Dr. Wu and shit. Now, there is a storm coming. This is bad. <laughs> I love that destructible shit. That, that made it so much fun. So we've got to go out here and take a picture of a dinosaur sleeping and a dinosaur socializing. Oh, we've got the sleeping part down, right? Oh, he's not sleeping. Well, maybe, let's see. Oh, I gotta learn to stop the car before I can take a picture, don't I? And I can't really see what's going on over there, but surely either some of these dinosaurs are socializing or at least sleeping, let's see. Got some triceratops, paras, galleys. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Wow, that was a really good picture. And it didn't do anything for us, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, no, I want you to drive. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Just drive. Surely that's gotta account for something. Yes, dinosaur socialized. Now we just gotta find a sleepy well, there's one. there's a new development. A little photo humor? Because he's developed a negative? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Everything he says is such a corny joke. <laughs> Dinosaur sleeping, dinosaur sleeping. Where can we find a sleeping dinosaur? God, look at that. That is so authentic to what it looks like. Maybe not to every teeny tiny detail, but we don't really know how long it's been since the events of the original park. Which is another thing, I wonder if this takes place in like 94, 95, or is this like a few days later? It's so crazy just to think about what directions that they could have gone in had it not been for, you know, what they did eventually in The Lost World, which I love. But still, you wonder, you know, like, that initial plan for Jurassic Park 2, would it have been similar to what we've got going on here right now? Who knows? I mean, until a script or story treatment or outline comes, we don't really know. That dinosaur's asleep. Oh, we've got a sleeping galley right there. Does that count? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Did anyone ever believe they'd be able to take a picture of a living, breathing dinosaur? Research item from Research Center. Breeding countermeasures. Life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering, biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome. One, survival. Two, reproduction. With man... With man, uh, <laughs> you can add a third, domination. Man? Oh, boy. All right, anyway, you're not wrong, which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaur's breeding. Well, they've had a free run of the island for a while, so we've got to assume that they've been mating. It would be a recurrence plot. Which is what, exactly? Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly, regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism oh. trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those. Or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for, uh, works for newlyweds. You know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps. But considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. Recurrence plot. That sounds an awful lot like some Jurassic Park I think sequels. A drug that should inhibit <laughs> breeding. Dr. Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer it? Well, a ranger team can shoot them with darts while I watch safely and securely from a distance. <laughs> do, do these ranger teams ever do ride alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe they'd make an exception. So we've got, okay, we just researched this. So apparently, if we dart these guys, that's going to prevent them from breeding? How does that work? Uh, I'm a little skeptical of... I don't know. That that sounds like... Look, Jurassic Park is sci-fi, but there's a difference between... Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of believe where, where you're going with this. This make-believe faux science, which is what Jurassic Park was, and then there's like... Ah, oh, screw it. You want to get them to stop reading, you just shoot them. <laughs> okay, we're actually going in the wrong direction. That looks like... Is that Jerry Harding driving? I mean, I know it's not, but they've given him his mustache, which is something that Telltale, uh, for some reason, didn't want to apply. I think it was because they couldn't use the likeness. Look at that. That is so cool. That actually does look a lot like what uh, tourist resorts look like in Costa Rica, which I have been before, uh, for like 24 hours before I got the hell out of there. So... <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, like, the attention to detail that they've really put into this thing. So let's start darting dinosaurs, which will, I guess, give them a sex change? I don't know how this works. So this is a little odd, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's very convenient, but I mean, it's a game. I'm just, I'm thinking of it from the standpoint of, like, Jurassic Park lore and science. Okay, got him. Administering sedative. No! Oh, well, can't get away now. <laughs> Help if I hit him. Uh, <laughs> that actually made me feel kind of bad. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing with this game is that I do see where they're applying a lot of their 
they're canceled ideas that they were going to do before Lost World in here, which is interesting. And I don't know what it means. I don't know if that means the plot of Jurassic World 3 will incorporate a lot of these ideas too, but I would... I don't know. It, it's interesting. This game is still treating... It looks like, to me, it's still treating like Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler are together, and Malcolm's trying to, you know, get in between. Where the hell are these trikes? Oh, they're nowhere around me. Uh, there they are. Where's the other car? Oh, I don't want to kill that Gallimimus either, so... Got it. And... Structure broken. No power. What's going on? It's happening again, Hammond. No, I won't allow it. <laughs> you may not have that choice, John. Finish. I need to know. Do you have a report? It looks like the computer systems are under attack. Whoa. John, we're being hacked. Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also affected the power grid. No, no, no. What? Don't say the gates are open. I won't. But they are. Protection needs to be our top priority. The dinosaurs and the staff. I'm staff, right? Let's get the power <laughs> grid back. That should help with staff safety. And I am staff, obviously. I've got programmers hardening the code as we speak. Finch, you'll help us get the personnel secured. Yes, the personnel, the staff, of which I am unquestionably. Okay, stop. <laughs> it was funny the first couple of times. That was legit like your one funny thing that I was in support of, Cabot, and you ruined it. Okay, so we're being hacked by obviously not Nedry. It's not. Oh, whoa, I don't want to fall. Okay. Ha! Ah! Okay. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm assuming Biosyn. We've got a dinosaur threat, too, by the way. Uh, oh, wow. Dylos. Okay, so what are we supposed to do here? There's just a few more areas that we need to fix. And obviously, we've got to, uh,. Tranquilize these Dilophosaurs. Come on, get in there. Reboot this gate. Oh, and there's our dinosaur right there. Okay, so our, our money won't go down, so we're not going to be too bad, I think. But uh, this is a problem. Oh, we, oh, we should have just rebooted the geothermal power plant. And this gate. All right. No, 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 no. Gotcha. We've identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. How they got missed. White rabbit object. <laughs> you, you've plugged the holes though, right? There's some new counter espionage software that just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, right. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. Ensure no dinosaurs can access central facility buildings. Research from... Okay. Research this. View research. What do we got this time? Buildings. This. This is what we need to do. The thing about being hacked, I do know for a fact. I'm satisfied Whoa. with the latest reports on park security. Now we can move on to the next great challenge. Oh. The dinosaurs. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island, Isla Son. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> Please look like the lost world. Ooh. Oh, this is like sorta in 93? What is this? This is gonna be interesting. We call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spare no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And Another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other mm. words, you weren't sure they'd survive <laughs> on Isla Noir. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always.
is the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm? Unfortunately, we're going to have to do this next time. This will be episode two of Return to Jurassic Park. Ooh, Jurassic Park era unlocked. Guys, this is really cool. Uh, sandbox mode, island started in Jurassic Park era, can only be built during with uh, Jurassic Park buildings and use alternate Jurassic Park economy and dinosaurs. We're going to get to all of this stuff in the next episode. Thank you for watching this one. This is going to be extremely fun. Um, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Now, as always, this video wouldn't be possible without the support of my awesome game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Their continued support has really been a lot of help to me when making this stuff, and I never want them to ever forget it. So a big thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.